All right, how's it going? Uh, about to head into a meeting right now with a uh, good friend of mine. It's called uh, Sun Cafe on Ventura Boulevard. It's a very healthy, very cool place. Um, but I got inspired and I want to share something One of the things you. I've realized for uh, acting now for over a decade is, is what makes someone a great actor and what makes someone an average actor and what makes some people terrible at acting. And there's many variables, but here's one that I found out that Really? So those who uh, struggle with the ability of acting, one of the things I've always noticed is those kind of actors care way too much about how they're coming off, how they're sounding. It's more of a selfish look rather than listening to the other person, rather than making that other person feel a certain way. What is your objective of what are you trying to make that person feel? is what's more important than how you're coming So off. if I'm gonna do anger, it's not about me getting angry and acting angry and making it about me being angry. It's about scaring the other person. It's about making the other person listen and get their attention. That's what anger is. It's about making that person feel. Now the reason I bring this up is because I've taken this skill set of listening, caring about the other person and, and how I make them feel, and I took that into business. I took that into marketing and advertising and into sales, and it's really helped me. You in sales and marketing have to be a great actor in the sense of being genuine, not acting, but listening, asking questions to the other person and caring about how you're making that. The amount of people who will inbox me or talk to me and they just straight up sales pitch me without asking questions, without caring, is not the way to sell. People are going to buy why you're doing something rather than what you're doing. They wanna know your mission. They wanna know who you are. That's why Instagram, Facebook, social media has become so important because I don't care about a business card anymore when someone hands it to me. I instantly go to their Facebook, their Instagram. I wanna see what their life mission is. I wanna see their I wanna see who they are as a person, what they're doing, who they're helping. So with acting, with marketing, with interacting with emotion and people, it's always about the other person. Add value and listen. listen. All right, one more quick thing before I go in. So I had this woman, this is for an example. She uh, runs this charity, and I get approached all the time to donate to charities, and I, and I, and I do a lot, um, but I obviously can't say yes to everything. But months ago, this woman messaged me about donating she to She had this charity. great pitch, if you will, from the heart. It was really great, long message. And I wrote back to her very politely and just said, hey, I've already donated to a few different charities. I'm already involved with a few charities, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to pass on this one. But definitely keep me updated. It's a very great, nice, polite response. Her response to me after this exchange was, okay. No explanation, no smiley face, just two letters, okay. Which showed me all she cared about was that sale. The correct response in my experience, would have been, all good, Freddie, thank you for your time, I appreciate you, I'll keep you updated, congrats on X, Y, and Z, or hope your week's going well, say hello, hi to Alyssa. Being a normal person. It's funny when you get out of your own head and you actually start caring about others and putting others first, and giving, 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 and not expecting so much in return, you're gonna grow by 10, by 20, by 30. Just keep giving and keep adding value. How's your salad? <laughs> Bananas.